Assam, Wikipedia article audio. Assam is a state in northeast India, situated south of the eastern Himalayas along the Brahmaputra and Barak River valleys. Assam covers an area of 78,438 km2. The state is bordered by Bhutan and the state of Arunachal Pradesh to the north, Nagaland and Manipur to the east, Meghalaya, Tripura, Mizoram and Bangladesh to the south, and West Bengal to the west via the Siliguri Corridor a 22-kilometer strip of land that connects the state to the rest of India. Assam is known for Assam tea and Assam silk. The state has conserved the one-horned Indian rhinoceros from near extinction, along with the wild water buffalo, pygmy hog, tiger and various species of Asiatic birds, and provides one of the last wild habitats for the Asian elephant. The Assamese economy is aided by wildlife tourism to Kaziranga National Park and Manas National Park, which are World Heritage Sites. Sal tree forests are found in the state which, as a result of abundant rainfall, look green all year round. Assam receives more rainfall than most parts of India. This rain feeds the Brahmaputra River, whose tributaries and oxbow lakes provide the region with a hydrogeomorphic environment. Etymology History The precise etymology of modern anglicized word Assam is ambiguous. In the classical period and up to the 12th century the region east of the Karatoya River, largely congruent to present-day Assam, was called Kamarupa, and alternatively, Pragjyotisha. In medieval times the Mughals used Asham and Kamrup, and during British colonialism, the English used Assam. Though many authors have associated the name with the 13th century Shan invaders the precise origin of the name is not clear. It was suggested by some that the Sanskrit word Asama was the root, which has been rejected by Kakati, and more recent authors have concurred that it is a latter-day Sanskritization of a native name. Among possible origins are Thai and Bodo. Assam and adjoining regions have evidences of human settlements from all the periods of the Stone Ages. The hills at the height of 1,502,000 feet were popular habitats probably due to availability of exposed dolerite basalt, useful for tool making. According to a late text, Kalika Purana, the earliest ruler of Assam was Mahiranga Danav of the Danava dynasty, which was removed by Naraka who established the Naraka dynasty. The last of these rulers, also Naraka, was slain by Krishna. Naraka's son Bhagatata became the king, who fought for the Kauravas in the battle of Kurukshetra with an army of Kiritas, Chinas and dwellers of the eastern coast. At the same time towards east in central Assam, Ashura kingdom was ruled by indigenous line of kings of Mariachi dynasty. Samadragupta's 4th century Allahabad pillar inscription mentions Kamarupa and Devaka as frontier kingdoms of the Gupta Empire. Devaka was later absorbed by Kamarupa, which grew into a large kingdom that spanned from Karatoya River to near present Sadia and covered the entire Brahmaputra Valley, North Bengal, parts of Bangladesh, and, at times, Purnia and parts of West Bengal. Prehistory The kingdom was ruled by three dynasties, the Varmanas, the Mlechha dynasty and the Kamarupapolis, from their capitals in present-day Guwahati, Tezpur and North Gauhati respectively. All three dynasties claimed descent from Narakajara. In the reign of the Varman king, Bhaskaravarman, the Chinese traveler Xianzang visited the region and recorded his travels. Later, after weakening and disintegration, 
the Kamarupa tradition was extended to C. 1255 AD by the Lunar I and Lunar II dynasties. Legendary Three later dynasties were the Ahams, the Shudiya, and the Kuk. The Ahams, a Thai group, ruled Upper Assam the Shans built their kingdom and consolidated their power in eastern Assam with the modern town of Sibs Agar as their capital and brought the whole tract down to the border of the modern district of Golpara permanently under their sway. Ahams ruled for nearly 600 years with major expansions in the early 16th century at the cost of Shusha and Damasa Kakari kingdoms. Since c. the 13th century AD, the nerve center of Aham polity was Upper Assam, the kingdom was gradually extended to the Karatoya River in the 17th or 18th century. It was at its zenith during the reign of Sukrung Fat or Swargodu Rudra Sinha. The Shudiya rulers held the regions on both the banks of Brahmaputra with its domain in the area eastwards from Vishvanath and Buridahing, in Upper Assam and in the state of Arunachal Pradesh. It was partially annexed in the early 1500s by the Ahams, finally getting absorbed in 1673 AD. The rivalry between the Chutayas and Ahams for the supremacy of eastern Assam led to a series of battles between them from the early 16th century until the start of the 17th century, which saw great loss of men and money. Ancient the Kuk, a Tibeto-Burmese dynasty, established sovereignty in c. 1510 AD. The Kuk kingdom in western Assam and present North Bengal was at its zenith in the early reign of Naranarayan. It split into two in c. 1581 AD, the western part as a Mughal vassal and the eastern as an Aham satellite state. Later. In 1682, Kuk Hajo was entirely annexed by the Ahams. Medieval Among other dynasties, the Kacharis ruled from Dikha River to central and southern Assam and had their capital at Dimapur. With expansion of Aham Kingdom, by the early 17th century, the Shudiya areas were annexed and since c. 1536 AD the Kacharis remained only in Kashar and North Kashar, and more as an Aham ally than a competing force. Colonial Era Despite numerous invasions, mostly by the Muslim rulers, no Western power ruled Assam until the arrival of the British. Though the Mughals made 17 attempts to invade, they were never successful. The most successful invader Mir Jumla, a governor of Aurangzeb, briefly occupied Garhajian, the then capital, but found it difficult to prevent guerrilla attacks on his forces, forcing them to leave. The decisive victory of the Assamese led by General Lachit Borfukan on the Mughals, then under command of Raja Ram Singha, at Saraigat in 1671 almost ended Mughal ambitions in this region. The Mughals were finally expelled from Lower Assam during the reign of Gay Dadhar Singha in 1682 AD. The discovery of Camellia sinensis in 1834 in Assam was followed by testing in 1836-37 in London. The British allowed companies to rent land from 1839 onwards. Thereafter tea plantations mushroomed in eastern Assam, where the soil and the climate were most suitable. Problems with the imported laborers from China and hostility from native Assamese resulted in the migration of forced laborers from central and eastern parts of India. After initial trial and error with planting the Chinese and the Assamese Chinese hybrid varieties, the planters later accepted the local Camellia Assamica as the most suitable variety for Assam. By the 1850s, the industry started seeing some profits. 
The industry saw initial growth, when in 1861, investors were allowed to own land in Assam and it saw substantial progress with invention of new technologies and machinery for preparing processed tea during the 1870s. Modern History Despite the commercial success, tea laborers continued to be exploited, working, and living under poor conditions. Fearful of greater government interference, the tea growers formed the Indian Tea Association in 1888 to lobby to retain the status quo. The organization was successful in this, but even after India's independence, conditions of the laborers have improved very little. In the later part of the 18th century, religious tensions and atrocities by the nobles led to the Momaria Rebellion, resulting in tremendous casualties of lives and property. The rebellion was suppressed but the kingdom was severely weakened by the civil war. Political rivalry between Prime Minister Pernananda Burhagohan and Baden Chandra Borfukan, the Ahum Viceroy of Western Assam, led to an invitation to the Burmese by the latter, in turn leading to three successive Burmese invasions of Assam. The reigning monarch Chandra Kanta Singha tried to check the Burmese invaders but he was defeated after fierce resistance. A reign of terror was unleashed by the Burmese on the Assamese people, who fled to neighbouring kingdoms and British-ruled Bengal. The Burmese reached the East India Company's borders, and the First Anglo-Burmese War ensued in 1824. The war ended under the Treaty of Yandabo in 1826, with the company taking control of Western Assam and installing Pura Ndar Singha as King of Upper Assam in 1833. The arrangement lasted till 1838 and thereafter the British gradually annexed the entire region. Initially Assam was made a part of the Bengal Presidency, then in 1906 it was made a part of Eastern Bengal and Assam Province, and in 1912 it was reconstituted into a Chief Commissioner's Province. In 1913, a Legislative Council and in 1937, the Assam Legislative Assembly, were formed in Shillong, the erstwhile capital of the region. The British tea planters imported labour from central India adding to the demographic canvas. The Assam territory was first separated from Bengal in 1874 as the Northeast Frontier Non-Regulation Province also known as the Assam Chief Commissionership. It was incorporated into the new province of Eastern Bengal and Assam in 1905 after the partition of Bengal and re-established in 1912 as Assam Province. Geography After a few initially unsuccessful attempts to gain independence for Assam during the 1850s, Anti-colonial Assamese joined and actively supported the Indian National Congress against the British from the early 20th century, with Gopinath Bordalawai emerging as the preeminent nationalist leader in the Assam Congress. Bordalawai's major political rival in this time was Sir Sedula, who was representing the Muslim League, and had the backing of the influential Muslim cleric Malana Bazani. Climate The Assam Postage Circle was established by 1873 under the headship of the Deputy Postmaster General. Thai Fake, Thai Aidon, Kam Ti, Kam Yang, Aham, Turung. At the turn of the 20th century, British India consisted of eight provinces that were administered either by a governor or a lieutenant governor. Assam province was one among major eight provinces of British India. The table below shows the major original provinces during British India covering the Assam province under the administrative office of the chief commissioner. The following table lists their areas and populations. 
it does not include those of the dependent native states. UNDP, Chapter 2, Income, Employment and Poverty in Assam Human Development Report, 2003, Government of Assam, archived from the original on February 20, 2007, Wandry, C.J., Silhet Kopili slash Barail Tipham Composite Total Petroleum System, Assam Geologic Province, India, U.S. Geological Survey Bulletin, 2208D. With the partition of India in 1947, Assam became a constituent state of India. The district of Silhet of Assam was given up to East Pakistan, which later became Bangladesh. Flooding Fauna Flora Geology The Government of India, which has the unilateral powers to change the borders of a state, divided Assam into several states beginning in 1970 within the borders of what was then Assam. In 1963, the Naga Hills district became the 16th state of India under the name of Nagaland. Part of Tunsang was added to Nagaland. In 1970, in response to the demands of the Kasai, Jaintia and Garo people of the Meghalaya Plateau, the districts embracing the Kasai Hills, Jaintia Hills and Garo Hills were formed into an autonomous state within Assam. In 1972 this became a separate state under the name of Meghalaya. In 1972, Arunachal Pradesh and Mizoram were separated from Assam as Union territories, both became states in 1986. Since the restructuring of Assam after independence, communal tensions and violence remain. Separatist groups began forming along ethnic lines, and demands for autonomy and sovereignty grew, resulting in the fragmentation of Assam. In 1961, the government of Assam passed legislation making use of the Assamese language compulsory. It was withdrawn later under pressure from Bengali-speaking people in Kashmir. In the 1980s the Brahmaputra Valley saw a six-year Assam agitation triggered by the discovery of a sudden rise in registered voters on electoral rolls. It tried to force the government to identify and deport foreigners illegally migrating from neighbouring Bangladesh and changing the demographics of the indigenous Assamese people and also provide constitutional, legislative, administrative and cultural safeguards for the indigenous Assamese people. The agitation ended after an accord between its leaders and the union government, which remained unimplemented causing simmering discontent. The post-1970s experienced the growth of armed separatist groups such as the United Liberation Front of Assam and the National Democratic Front of Bodoland. In November 1990, the Government of India deployed the Indian Army, after which low-intensity military conflicts and political homicides have been continuing for more than a decade. In recent times, ethnically based militant groups have grown. Panchayati Raj institutions have been applied in Assam, after agitation of the communities due to the sluggish rate of development and general apathy of successive state governments towards indigenous Assamese communities. A significant geographical aspect of Assam is that it contains three of six physiographic divisions of India the Northern Himalayas, the Northern Plains and Deccan Plateau. As the Brahmaputra flows in Assam the climate here is cold and there is rainfall most of the month. Geomorphic studies conclude that the Brahmaputra, the lifeline of Assam is an antecedent river, older than the Himalayas. The river with steep gorges and rapids in Arunachal Pradesh entering Assam, becomes a braided river and with tributaries, creates a flood plain. 
The hills of Karbiang Glong, North Kashir, and those in and close to Guwahati now eroded and dissected are originally parts of the South Indian Plateau system. In the south, the Barak originating in the Barail Range flows through the Kashir district with a 25-30 miles wide valley and enters Bangladesh with the name Surma River. Urban centers include Guwahati, one of the 100 fastest growing cities in the world. Guwahati is the gateway to the northeast India. Silchar, the second most populous city in Assam and an important center of business, education, and tourism. Other large cities include Debrugger an oil, natural gas, tea, and tourism industry center, Horhat, and Tinsukia. With the tropical monsoon rainforest climate, Assam is temperate and experiences heavy rainfall and high humidity. The climate is characterized by heavy monsoon downpours reducing summer temperatures and affecting foggy nights and mornings and winters, frequent during the afternoons. Spring and autumn are usually pleasant with moderate rainfall and temperature. Assam's agriculture usually depends on the southwest monsoon rains. Every year, flooding from the Brahmaputra and other rivers deluges places in Assam. The water levels of the rivers rise because of rainfall resulting in the rivers overflowing their banks and engulfing nearby areas. Apart from houses and livestock being washed away by flood water, bridges, Railway tracks and roads are also damaged by the calamity, which causes communication breakdown in many places. Fatalities are also caused by the natural disaster in many places of the state. Demographics Assam is one of the richest biodiversity zones in the world and consists of tropical rainforests, deciduous forests, river rhine grasslands, bamboo orchards, and numerous wetland ecosystems. Many are now protected as national parks and reserved forests. Assam has wildlife sanctuaries, the most prominent of which are two UNESCO World Heritage Sites the Kaziranga National Park on the bank of the Brahmaputra River, and the Manas Wildlife Sanctuary, near the border with Bhutan. The Kaziranga is a refuge for the fast-disappearing Indian one-horned rhinoceros. The state is the last refuge for numerous other endangered and threatened species including the white-winged wood duck or Diohan, Bengal florican, black-breasted parrot bill, red-headed vulture, White Rumped Vulture, Greater Adjutant, Jerdon's Babbler, Rufus Necked Hornbill, Bengal Tiger, Asian Elephant, Pygmy Hog, Gar, Wild Water Buffalo, Indian Hog Deer, Halak Gibbon, Golden Lungur, Kept Lungur, Barasingha, Ganges River Dolphin, Barka Snakehead, Ganges Shark, Burmese Python, Brahmini River Turtle, Black Pond Turtle, Asian Forest Tortoise, and Assam Roofed Turtle. Threatened species that are extinct in Assam include the gorille, a critically endangered fish-eating crocodilian, and the pink-headed duck. For the state bird, the white-winged wood duck, Assam is a globally important area. In addition to the above, there are three other national parks in Assam namely Debrusaikawa National Park, Namurai National Park and the Orang National Park. Assam has conserved the one-horned Indian rhinoceros from near extinction, along with the pygmy hog, tiger and numerous species of birds, and it provides one of the last wild habitats for the Asian elephant. Kaziranga and Manas are both World Heritage Sites. The state contains sal tree forests and forest products, much depleted from earlier times. A land of high rainfall, Assam displays greenery. The Brahmaputra River tributaries and Oxbow Lakes provide the region with hydrogeomorphic environment. 
population Religions Languages The state has the largest population of the wild water buffalo in the world. The state has the highest diversity of birds in India with around 820 species. With subspecies the number is as high as 946. The mammal diversity in the state is around 190 species. Assam is remarkably rich in orchid species and the foxtail orchid is the state flower of Assam. The recently established Kaziranga National Orchid and Biodiversity Park boasts more than 500 of the estimated 1,314 orchid species found in India. Assam has petroleum, natural gas, coal, limestone, and other minor minerals such as magnetic quartzite, kaolin, selimanites, clay and feldspar. A small quantity of iron ore is available in western districts. Discovered in 1889, all the major petroleum gas reserves are in upper parts. A recent USGS estimate shows 399 million barrels of oil, 1,178 billion cubic feet of gas and 67 million barrels of natural gas liquids in the Assam Geologic Province. The region is prone to natural disasters like annual floods and frequent mild earthquakes. Strong earthquakes were recorded in 1869, 1897, and 1950. The total population of Assam was 26.66 million with 4.91 million households in 2001. Higher population concentration was recorded in the districts of Kamrup, Najayan, Sanitpur, Barpata, Dubri, Daran, and Kashir. Assam's population was estimated at 28.67 million in 2006 and at 30.57 million in 2011 and is expected to reach 34.18 million by 2021 and 35.60 million by 2026. Government and Politics as per the 2011 census, the total population of Assam was 31,169,272. The total population of the state has increased from 26,638,407 to 31,169,272 in 2011. the last 10 years with a growth rate of 16.93%. Of the 32 districts, 8 districts registered a rise in the decadal population growth rate. Religious minority-dominated districts like Dubri, Golpara, Barpata, Marijayan, Najayan, and Halekandi, recorded growth rates ranging from 20% to 24% during the last decade. Eastern Assamese districts, including Sivasagar and Horhat, registered around 9% population growth. These districts do not have any international border. In 2011, the literacy rate in the state was 73.18%. The male literacy rate was 78.81% and the female literacy rate was 67.27%. In 2001, the census had recorded literacy in Assam at 63.3% with male literacy at 71.3% and female at 54.6%. The urbanization rate was recorded at 12.9%. The growth of population in Assam has increased since the middle decades of the 20th century. The population grew from 3.29 million in 1901 to 6.70 million in 1941. It increased to 14.63 million in 1971 and 22.41 million in 1991. 
The growth in the western and southern districts was high primarily due to the influx of people from East Pakistan, now Bangladesh. The mistrust and clashes between indigenous Assamese people and Bengali Muslims started as early as 1952, but is rooted in anti-Bengali sentiments of the 1940s. At least 77 people died and 400,000 people was displaced in the 2012 Assam violence between indigenous Bodos and Bengali Muslims. The People of India project has studied 115 of the ethnic groups in Assam. 79 identify themselves regionally, 22 locally, and 3 transnationally. The earliest settlers were Austroasiatic and Dravidian speakers, followed by Tibeto-Burman, Indo-Aryan speakers, and Thai Kade speakers. Forty-five languages are spoken by different communities, including three major language families, Austroasiatic, Sino-Tibetan, and Indo-European. Three of the spoken languages do not fall in these families. There is a high degree of bilingualism. Religion in Assam According to the 2011 census, 61.47% were Hindus, 34.22% were Muslims. Christian minorities are found among the scheduled tribe population. The scheduled tribe population in Assam is around 13% of which Bodos account for 40%. Other religions followed include Jainism, Buddhism, Sikhism, and Animism. Many Hindus in Assam are followers of the Ekasarana Dharma sect of Hinduism, which gave rise to Namgar, designed to be simpler places of worship than traditional Hindu temples. Out of 32 districts of Assam, Nine are Muslim majority according to the 2011 census of India. The districts are Dubri, Golpara, Barpada, Marijayan, Najayan, Karimganjay, Halekhandi, Daran and Bangajayan. Languages of Assam in 2001 Local Government Education Assamese and Bodo are the major indigenous and official languages while Bengali is the indigenous and official language in the three districts in the Barak Valley and is the second most widely spoken language of the state. According to the language census of 2001 in Assam, out of a total population of 26,638,407, 20 Assamese is spoken by 13,010,478 speakers, Bengali is spoken by 7,343,388 speakers, Hindi by 1,569,662 speakers, Bodo by 1,296,162 speakers, Nepali by 564,790 speakers, Mishing by 506,129 speakers, Karbai by 401,212 speakers, Santali by 242,886 speakers, Odia by 231,474 speakers, Kukish by 33,399 speakers and 1,611,623 speak other languages. Universities Traditionally, Assamese was the language of the common folk in the ancient Kamarupa kingdom and in the medieval kingdoms of Kamadapur, Kakari, Shudiya, Borahi, Ayaham, and Kuk. Traces of the language are found in many poems by Luipa, Sarahapa, and others, in Chariupada. Modern dialects such as Kamrapai and Golpariya are remnants of this language. Moreover, Assamese in its traditional form was used by the ethno-cultural groups in the region as lingua franca, 
which spread during the stronger kingdoms and was required for economic integration. Localized forms of the language still exist in Nagaland and Arunachal Pradesh. The form used in Upper Assam was enriched by the advent of Taishans in the 13th century. Medical Colleges Engineering and Technological Colleges Law Colleges Economy Tea Plantations Macroeconomy Employment Agriculture Industry Tourism Culture Symbols Festivals and Traditions Music, Dance and Drama Linguistically modern Assamese traces its roots to the version developed by the American missionaries based on the local form used near Sivasagar district. Assamese is a rich language due to its hybrid nature and unique characteristics of pronunciation and softness. Assamese literature is also one of the richest. The word Demesa etymologically translates to son of the big river the river being the mighty Brahmaputra. The Damesa word de for water forms the root word for many of the major rivers of Assam and the northeast India like Dikrang which means green river, Dikau which means fetched water, Diung etc. The Brahmaputra river is known as Dalau among the Demasas. Many of the towns and cities in Assam and Nagaland derived their names from Damesa words. For example, Dimapur, Dispur, Hoje, Daifu, and Kaspur. Bodo is an ancient language of Assam. Spatial distribution patterns of the ethno-cultural groups, cultural traits, and the phenomenon of naming all the major rivers in the northeast region with Bodo Kakari words reveal that it was the most important language in the ancient times. Bodo is now spoken largely in the western Assam. After years of neglect, now Bodo language is getting attention and its literature is developing. Other native languages of Tibeto-Burman origin and related to Bodo Kakari are Diori, Mising, Karbai, Rabha, and Tiwa. Kukish is another native language of Assam belonging to the Tibeto-Burman group. However it does not belong to the Bodo Kakari group. There are approximately 5.64 lakhs Nepali speakers spread all over the state forming about 2.12% of Assam's total population according to 2001 census. There are speakers of Thai languages in Assam. A total of six Thai language were spoken in Assam. Two are now extinct. Assam has Governor Jagdish Muki as the head of the state, the unicameral Assam Legislative Assembly of 126 members, and a government led by the Chief Minister of Assam. The state is divided into five regional divisions. As of June 2016, the state has 33 administrative districts. On August 15, 2015, Five new districts were formed in addition to former 27 districts. The five new districts are Biswanath, Chara Idio, Hoje, South Salmaramankakar and West Karbai Anglong. On June 27, 2016, Majulai declared as district. These districts are further subdivided into 54 subdivisions or Mahakuma. Every district is administered from a district headquarters with the Office of the Deputy Commissioner, District Magistrate, Office of the District Panchayat and usually with a district court. The districts are delineated on the basis of the features such as the rivers, hills, forests, etc., and majority of the newly constituted districts are subdivisions of the earlier districts. The local governance system is organized under the Jila Parishad for a district, 
panchayat for group of or individual rural areas and under the urban local bodies for the towns and cities. There are now 2,489 village panchayats covering 26,247 villages in Assam. The Town Committee or Nagar Somiti for Small Towns, Municipal Board or Porosaba for Medium Towns and Municipal Corporation or Poronigam for the cities consist of the urban local bodies. For the revenue purposes, the districts are divided into revenue circles and Musa S. For the development projects, the districts are divided into 219 development blocks and for law and order these are divided into 206 police stations or Thana. As on May 19, 2016, BJP under the leadership of Sarbananda Sunoal won the assembly elections, thus forming the first BJP-led government in Assam. Guwahati is the largest metropolitan area and urban conglomeration administered under the highest form of urban local body Guwahati Municipal Corporation in Assam. The corporation administers an area of 216.79 square kilometers. All other urban centers are managed under municipal boards. A list of nine oldest, classified, and prominent, and constantly inhabited, recognized urban centers based on the earliest years of formation of the civic bodies, before the Indian independence of 1947 is tabulated below. The state has three autonomous councils. Assam schools are run by the Indian government or by private organizations. Medium of instruction is mainly in Assamese, English, or Bengali. Most of the schools follow the state's examination board which is called the Secondary Education Board of Assam. Almost all private schools follow the Central Board for Secondary Education, Indian Certificate of Secondary Education and Indian School Certificate Syllabuses. Assamese language is the main medium in educational institutions but Bengali language is also taught as a major Indian language. In Guwahati and Digboy, many junior basic school and junior high school are Nepali linguistic and all the teachers are British Gorkha. Nepali is included by Assam State Secondary Board, Assam Higher Secondary Education Council and Gauhati University in their HSLC, Higher Secondary and Graduation Level respectively. In some junior basic and higher secondary schools and colleges, Nepali language speaking British Gorkha teachers and lecturers are appointed. The capital, Dispur contains institutions of higher education for students of the northeastern region. Cotton College, Guwahati, dates back to the 19th century. Assam has several institutions for tertiary education and research. Universities, colleges, and institutions include Research institutes present in the state include National Research Center on Pig, in Guwahati. Assam's economy is based on agriculture and oil. Assam produces more than half of India's tea. The Assam Arakan Basin holds about a quarter of the country's oil reserves, and produces about 12% of its total petroleum. According to the recent estimates, Assam's per capita GDP is 6,157 at constant prices and 10,198 at current prices, almost 40% lower than that in India. According to the recent estimates, per capita income in Assam has reached 6,756 in 20405, which is still much lower than India's. The economy of Assam today represents a unique juxtaposition of backwardness amidst plenty. Despite its rich natural resources, and supplying of up to 25% of India's petroleum needs, Assam's growth rate has not kept pace with that of India, 
the difference has increased rapidly since the 1970s. The Indian economy grew at 6% per annum over the period of 1981 to 2000, the growth rate of Assam was only 3.3%. In the sixth plan period, Assam experienced a negative growth rate of 3.78% when India's was positive at 6%. In the post-liberalist era, the difference widened further. According to recent analysis, Assam's economy is showing signs of improvement. In 2001-02, the economy grew at 4.5% falling to 3.4% in the next financial year. During 2003-04 and 2004-05, the economy grew at 5.5% and 5.3% respectively. The advanced estimates placed the growth rate for 2005-06 at above 6%. Assam's GDP in 2004 is estimated at $13 billion in current prices. Sectoral analysis again exhibits a dismal picture. The average annual growth rate of agriculture, which was 2.6% per annum over the 1980s, has fallen to 1.6% in the 1990s. The manufacturing sector showed some improvement in the 1990s with a growth rate of 3.4% per annum than 2.4% in the 1980s. For the past five decades, the tertiary sector has registered the highest growth rates of the other sectors, which even has slowed down in the 1990s than in the 1980s. Unemployment is one of the major problems of Assam which can be attributed to overpopulation, and a faulty education system. Every year, large numbers of students obtain higher academic degrees but because of non-availability of proportional vacancies, most of these students remain unemployed. A number of employers hire overqualified or efficient, but undercertified, candidates, or candidates with narrowly defined qualifications. The problem is exacerbated by the growth in the number of technical institutes in Assam which increases the unemployed community of the state. Many job seekers are eligible for jobs in sectors like railways and oil India but don't get these jobs because of the appointment of candidates from outside of Assam to these posts. The reluctance on the part of the department's concern to advertise vacancies in vernacular language has also made matters worse for local unemployed youths particularly for the job seekers of grade C and D vacancies. Reduction of the unemployed has been threatened by illegal immigration from Bangladesh. This has increased the workforce without a commensurate increase in jobs. Immigrants compete with local workers for jobs at lower wages, particularly in construction, domestics, rickshaw pullers, and vegetable sellers. The government has been identifying and deporting illegals. Continued immigration is exceeding deportation. In Assam among all the productive sectors, agriculture makes the highest contribution to its domestic sectors accounting for more than a third of Assam's income and employs 69% of workforce. Assam's biggest contribution to the world is Assam tea. It has its own variety Camellia Assamica. The state produces rice, rapeseed, mustard seed, jute, potato, sweet potato, banana, papaya, arica nut, sugarcane, and turmeric. Assam's agriculture is yet to experience modernization in a real sense. With implications for food security, per capita food grain production has declined in the past five decades. Productivity has increased marginally, but is still low compared to highly productive regions. For instance, the yield of rice was just 1,531 kg per hectare against India's 1,927 kg per hectare in 2001. 
On the other hand, after having strong domestic demand, and with 1.5 million hectares of inland water bodies, numerous rivers and 165 varieties of fishes, fishing is still in its traditional form and production is not self-sufficient. Flood in Assam greatly affects the farmers and the families dependent on agriculture because of large-scale damage of agricultural fields and crops by flood water. Every year, flooding from the Brahmaputra and other rivers deluges places in Assam. The water levels of the rivers rise because of rainfall resulting in the rivers overflowing their banks and engulfing nearby areas. Apart from houses and livestock being washed away by flood water, bridges, railway tracks and roads are also damaged by the calamity, which causes communication breakdown in many places. Fatalities are also caused by the natural disaster in many places of the state. Hand looming and handicraft continue. Assam's proximity to some neighbouring countries such as Bangladesh, Nepal and Bhutan, benefits its trade. The major border checkpoints through which border trade flows to Bangladesh from Assam are Sitarkandi, Dubri, Mangachar and Golokanjay. To facilitate border trade with Bangladesh, border trade centres have been developed at Sitarkandi and Mangachar. It has been proposed in the 11th five-year plan to set up two more border trade centre, one at Lado connecting China and other at Daran connecting Bhutan. There are several land custom stations in the state bordering Bangladesh and Bhutan to facilitate border trade. The Government of India has identified some thrust areas for industrial development of Assam. Although, the region in the eastern periphery of India is landlocked and is linked to the mainland by the narrow Siliguri Corridor improved transport infrastructure in all the three modes rail, road and air and developing urban infrastructure in the cities and towns of Assam are giving a boost to the entire industrial scene. The Lkpriyagopanath Bordaloi International Airport at Guwahati, although is yet to be fully functional with international flights, was the 12th busiest airport of India in 2012. The cities of Guwahati in the west and Debrugger in the east with good rail, road and air connectivity are the two important nerve centres of Assam to be selected by Asian Development Bank for providing $200 million for improvement of urban infrastructure. Assam is a producer of crude oil and it accounts for about 15% of India's crude output, exploited by the Assam Oil Company Limited, and natural gas in India and is the second place in the world where petroleum was discovered. Asia's first successful mechanically drilled oil well was drilled in Makam way back in 1867. Most of the oil fields are located in the eastern Assam region. Assam has four oil refineries in Digboy, Guwahati, Bangajayan and Numalagarhan with a total capacity of 7 million metric tons per annum. Asia's first refinery was set up at Digboy and discoverer of Digboy oil field was the Assam Railways and Trading Company Limited, a registered company of London in 1881. One of the biggest public sector oil company of the country Oil India Limited has its plant and headquarters at Dulyajan. There are several other industries, including a chemical fertilizer plant at Namrup. Petrochemical Industries at Namrup and Bangajayan, Paper Mills at Jajarod, Hindustan Paper Corporation Ltd. Township Area Panchgram and Jagayapa, Sugar Mills at Baruabamunjayan, Chargola, Camper, Cement Plant at Bakajan and Badarpur, Cosmetics Plant of Hindustan Unilever at Doom Duma, etc. Moreover, there are other industries such as jute mill, textile and yarn mills, Assam silk, and silk mills.
Many of these industries are facing loss and closure due to lack of infrastructure and improper management practices. Wildlife, cultural, and historical destinations have attracted visitors. Rangar An Indian rhinoceros in Kaziranga National Park Statue of Aham warriors near Sivasagar town, Assam Shiva Dol Vishnadol Joyce Agar Kamakya Temple, Nilachal Hills, Guwahati Karenhar of the Aham Kings, Joyce Agar Panberry Mosque, Dubri Assamese culture is traditionally a hybrid one developed due to assimilation of ethno-cultural groups of Austric, Tibeto-Burman, and Thai origin in the past. Therefore, both local elements or the local elements in Sanskritist forms are distinctly found. The major milestones in evolution of Assamese culture are The modern culture was influenced by events in the British and the post-British era. The language was standardized by the American Baptist missionaries such as Nathan Brown, Dr. Miles Bronson and local pundits such as Hemchandra Berua with the form available in the Sibs Agar district. Increasing efforts of standardization in the 20th century alienated the localized forms present in different areas and with the less assimilated ethno-cultural groups. However, Assamese culture in its hybrid form and nature is one of the richest, still developing and in true sense is a cultural system with subsystems. It is interesting that many source cultures of Assamese cultural system are still surviving either as subsystems or as sister entities, e.g. the, Bodo or Karbai or Mishing. It is important to keep the broader system closer to its roots and at the same time to focus on development of the subsystems. Some of the common and unique cultural traits in the region are people's respect towards arica nut and beetle leaves, symbolic, traditional silk garments and towards forefathers and elderly. Moreover, great hospitality and bamboo culture are common. Symbolism is an ancient cultural practice in Assam and is still a very important part of Assamese way of life. Various elements are being used to represent beliefs, feelings, pride, identity, etc. Tamulpan, Kore, and Gamasa are three important symbolic elements in Assamese culture. Tamulpan or Guapan are considered along with the Gamasa as the offers of devotion, respect, and friendship. The Tamulpan tradition is an ancient one and is being followed since time immemorial with roots in the Aboriginal Austroasiatic culture. Kore is a traditionally manufactured bell metal article of great respect and is used as a container medium while performing respectful offers. Moreover, Symbolically many ethno-cultural groups use specific clothes to portray respect and pride. There were many other symbolic elements and designs, but are now only found in literature, art, sculpture, architecture, etc., or in use today for only religious purposes. The typical designs of Assamese lion, dragon, flying lion, etc. were used for symbolizing various purposes and occasions. The archaeological sites such as the Maiden Kamdef exhibits mass-scale use of lions, dragon lions and many other figures of demons to showcase power and prosperity. The Vaishnava monasteries and many other architectural sites of late medieval period display the use of lions and dragons for symbolic effects. There are diversified important traditional festivals in Assam. Baihu is the most important and common and celebrated all over Assam. It is the Assamese New Year celebrated in April of the Gregorian calendar. Durga Puja is another festival celebrated with great enthusiasm. Muslims celebrate two Eids with much eagerness all over Assam.
Baihu is a series of three prominent festivals. Primarily a non-religious festival celebrated to mark the seasons and the significant points of a cultivator's life over a yearly cycle. Three Baihas, Rongali, or Bohag, celebrated with the coming of spring and the beginning of the sowing season, Kungali or Kadi, the barren Baihu when the fields are lush but the barns are empty, and the Pagali or Mac, the thanksgiving when the crops have been harvested and the barns are full. Baihu songs and Baihu dance are associated to Rongali Baihu. The day before the each Baihu is known as Uruka. The first day of Rongali Baihu is called Gora Baihu, when the cows are taken to the nearby rivers or ponds to be bathed with special care. In recent times the form and nature of celebration has changed with the growth of urban centers. Bwaisagu is one of the popular seasonal festival of the Bodos. Bwaisagu start of the new year or age. Baisagu is a borough word which originated from the word Baisa which means year or age, Angagu that means starting or start. Bushu Dima or simply Bushu is a major harvest festival of the Damesa people. This festival is celebrated during the end of January. Officially January 27 has been declared as the day of Bushu Dima festival. The Damesa people celebrate their festival by playing musical instruments Krum, Muri. The people dances to the different tunes called Muri Tai and each dance has got its name, the prominent being the Baitima There are three types of Bushu celebrated among the Dimasas Jidap, Shurem, and Hangsu. Moreover, there are other important traditional festivals being celebrated every year on different occasions at different places. Many of these are celebrated by different ethno-cultural groups. Some of these are Other few yearly celebrations are Dolutsav of Barpata, Brahmaputra Beach Festival, Gyuwahati, Kaziranga Elephant Festival, Kaziranga and Deng Patkai Festival, Lekapani, Karbai Youth Festival of Daifu and International Jading Ga Festival, Jading Ga cannot be forgotten. Few yearly melas like John Beale Mela, began in the 15th century by the Ahum kings, Ambubaki Mela, Gyuwahati etc. Lachit Divas is celebrated to promote the ideals of Lachit Borfukan the legendary general of Assam's history. Sarbananda Sunol, the chief minister of Assam took part in the Lachit Divas celebration at the statue of Lachit Borfukan at Brahmaputra Riverfront on November 24, 2017. He said, the first countrywide celebration of Lachit Divas would take place in New Delhi followed by state capitals such as Hyderabad, Bangalore, and Kolkata in a phased manner. Tribal Bodo Dance Bagurumba Yahumor Dance Nagara Cuisine Literature Fine Arts Traditional Crafts Media Notes Bupan Hazarika Performing Arts include Ankianate a traditional Vaishnav dance drama popular since the 15th century AD. It makes use of large masks of gods, goddesses, demons, and animals and in between the plays a sutradhar continues to narrate the story. Besides Baihu dance and Huchari performed during the Bohag Baihu, dance forms of tribal minorities such as Kishan and Ritra of Rajbangshis, Bagurumba, and Bordoisikla dance of Bodos, Mishing Baihu, Banjar Kikan performed during Kamankan by Karbis, Yahumor of tea tribes are some of the major folk dances. Satriya dance related to Vaishnav tradition is a classical form of dance. Moreover, there are several other age old dance forms such as Barpada's Bhortal and Ritya. Diodhoni Enritya, Ojapali, Bula Dance, Kashading Longkardam, 
Nimsokirung, etc. The tradition of modern moving theatres is typical of Assam with immense popularity of many large theatre groups such as Kohanur, Sankardev, Abahan, Bajiatavi, Hengal, Brindaban, Idihaz etc. The indigenous folk music has influenced the growth of a modern idiom, that finds expression in the music of artists like Jyoti Prasad Agarwala, Bishnu Prasad Rabha, Parvati Prasad Barawa, Bhupan Hazarika, Pratima Barua Pandi, Anima Chowdhury, Ludkan War Rudra Barua, Jayanta Hazarika, Kijan Mahanta, Deepali Bortakar, Ganeshilpi Dilip Sarma, Sudakshina Sarma among many others. Among the new generation, Zubin Garg, Jitol Sunol, Angarag Mahanta and Joy Berua. There is an award given in the honor of Bishnu Prasad Rabha for achievements in the cultural-slash-music world of Assam by the state government. Typically, an Assamese meal consists of many things such as bot with dao, maso or jol, with mangso, or zake and beiji. Rice is one of the main dishes of Assam, and a variety of different rices are grown and eaten in different ways, roasted, grounded, boiled or just soaked. Fish curries made of free-range wild fish as well as borali, roe, eilish, or sital are the most popular. Fowl such as ducks and pigeon are used in dishes while pork, chicken and mutton dishes are mainly popular among the younger generation. Another favorite combination is luchi, a curry which can be vegetarian or non-vegetarian, and asar. The two main characteristics of a traditional meal in Assam are kar and the sour dish tenga. Korika is the smoked or fired meat eaten with the meal. The various meats more commonly taken include mutton, fowl, duck slash goose, fish, pigeon, beef, and pork, these being often involved with religious ceremonies. Other kinds of meat include grash hoppers, locusts, silkworms, snails, eels, wild fowl, and other birds, deer meat and so on. Korisa are used at times to flavor curries while they can also be preserved and made into pickles. Koldil and squash can be cooked into sabjis. Many tribal households still continue to brew their traditional drinks, variously known as lopani, zaj, paniyo, ju, jumai, hor, apeng, and so on. During the time of the traditional festivities, guests are offered these drinks. Declining then is considered socially offensive. The food is often served in bell metal dishes and platters like nahi, mayhang, and so on. Most literary works are written in Assamese although other local language such as Burro and Damesa are also represented. In the 19th and 20th century, Assamese and other literature was modernized by authors including Lakshmi Nath Bisbaro, Birinchi Kumar Berua, Hem Berua, Dr. Mamanai Razam Goswami, Babendra Nath Saikia, Birendra Kumar Bhattacharya, Hiran Bhattacharya, Homan Borgohine, Babananda Deka, Rebeta Mohan Dutta Chowdhury, Mahim Bora, Lal Bahadur Chetri, Syed Abdul Malik, Surendranath Mevi, Hiran Gohan etc. The archaic Mauryan stupas discovered in and around Golpara district are the earliest examples of ancient art and architectural works. The remains discovered in Deparvashiya archaeological site with a beautiful door frame in Tezpur are identified as the best examples of artworks in ancient Assam with influence of Sarnath school of art of the late Gupta period. Painting is an ancient tradition of Assam. Xianzang mentions that among the Kamarupa king Bhaskaravarma's gifts to Harshavardhana there were paintings and painted objects some of which were on Assamese silk. 
Many of the manuscripts such as Hastivadyarnava, the Chitra Bhagavata and in the Jita Govinda from the Middle Ages bear excellent examples of traditional paintings. Assam has a rich tradition of crafts, cane and bamboo craft, bell metal and brass craft, silk and cotton weaving, toy and mask making, pottery and terracotta work, wood craft, jewellery making, and musical instruments making have remained as major traditions. Cane and bamboo craft provide the most commonly used utilities in daily life, ranging from household utilities, weaving accessories, fishing accessories, furniture, musical instruments, construction materials, etc. Utilities and symbolic articles such as sore and boda made from bell metal and brass are found in every Assamese household. Hajo and Sartbari are the most important centers of traditional bell metal and brass crafts. Assam is the home of several types of silks, the most prestigious are, MUGA the natural golden silk, Pad a creamy bright silver colored silk and area variety used for manufacturing warm clothes for winter. Apart from Suakuki, the center for the traditional silk industry, in almost every parts of the Brahmaputra Valley, rural households produce silk and silk garments with excellent embroidery designs. Moreover, Various ethno-cultural groups in Assam make different types of cotton garments with unique embroidery designs and wonderful color combinations. Moreover, Assam possesses unique crafts of toy and mask making mostly concentrated in the Vaishnav monasteries, pottery and terracotta work in western Assam districts and wood craft, iron craft, jewellery, etc. in many places across the region. Print media include Assamese dailies Amar Assam, Asamiya Kober, Asamiya Pratidan, Dainika Gradut, Dainik Janam Humi, Dainik Assam, Gana Adhikar, Genis Adharan, and Nyomiya Bharta. Assam Bani, Sadan, and Bulkabar are Assamese weekly newspapers. English dailies of Assam include the Assam Tribune, the Sentinel, the Telegraph, the Times of India and Eastern Chronicle. Thekar, in the Karbai language has the largest circulation of any daily from Karbai Anglong district. Bodhisa has the highest circulation of any Bodo daily from BTC. Dainik Jugazanka is a Bengali daily with editions from Debrugar, Guwahati, Silchar, and Kolkata. Dainik Samayak Prasanga, Dainik Pranto Hyoti, Dainik Janakantha, and Nababarta Prasanga are other prominent Bengali dailies published in the Barak Valley towns of Karimganjay and Silchar. Hindi dailies include Pervanchal Prahari, Pratakabar, and Dainik Purvode. Broadcasting stations of All India Radio have been established in five big cities. Debrugar, Guwahati, Kokrajhar, Silchar, and Tezpur. Local news and music are the main priority for that station. Assam has three public service broadcasting service radio stations at Debrugar, Guwahati, and Silchar. Guwahati is the headquarters of a number of electronic medias like Assam Talks, DY365, News Live. News 18 Assam slash Northeast, Prague News, and Pratidan Time. Sirkar, D.C., Prague Jyotisha Kamarupa, in Barpujari, H.K., The Comprehensive History of Assam, I. Gyuwahati, Publication Board, Assam, pages 5978.